what is going on guys today we've got the call of duty cold war zombies easter egg let's get right into it no time to waste my dog just got stuck in some wet cement i gotta finish the video by the time it's dry so let's get this thing over with if you are attempting this easter egg i'm assuming you know your way around the map but just in case i've got a video in the background showing you the pathing so you can follow me if you need to the first step is just turn on the power power is located in the particle accelerator room downstairs once the power is on, it is then time to get the Pack-A-Punch machine rolling. So these two terminals are going to pop up. It's going to show you exactly where they are on your map. You just have to run up to them and interact with both of them. This way, an anomaly is going to appear in the particle accelerator, right where Pack-A-Punch should be. Once that appears, you're going to want to go through it and follow the marker to the Aether Tunnel. Most of the time, the Aether Tunnel will be located in the crash site, right under the nose of the plane that should be levitating in the air, but it won't always be. However, I still recommend that you go here every time. You're going to want to melee this case and take the fuse from the inside. And then just run to the Aether Tunnel, whether it's here or in Pond or whatever. Just run to it and you're going to want to take it down to the bottom side of the map. Right on the other side of the tunnel, there's going to be a machine part in that room. You're going to retrieve the machine part and then go to where Pack Punch should be under the particle accelerator. Right where you enter the Dark Anomaly. Go up to the Pack Punch machine, you'll see the outline of it, kind of like a blueprint, and just interact with it and you'll build a Pack Punch machine and leave the Dark Anomaly. I also recommend you do the little side quick easter egg with the dancing coffin zombies. It's pretty easy to do, I'll show you where all the orbs are on screen, because once you do this you get a free perk, you get Juggernaut for free, and you also get a free weapon. Sometimes you'll get a ray gun or a wonder weapon, you'll get lucky. In this run here we got really lucky, we end up with a wonder weapon, so definitely recommend doing this for a free perk and a little bit of free loot. <laughs> gimme gimme. Oh Ooh. I'm gonna take that. Well you can yeah yeah just in case it right. yeah, that's all you I'll take that first because right around the time you finish all this it should be about round seven, which is when the Megaton spawns. You're gonna to want to bait him over to this fungal spore tree here near the pond, and you want him to throw his radioactive attack at it so it turns purple. Once he does that, you can just take care of him, kill him, and kill the two megaton blaster and bomber that splits from him. Once you finish off the Megaton and the two things that it splits into, it's going to drop a yellow key card that you want to pick up, because this is for another step for the easter egg. Once you pick up that key card, make your way over to the weapons lab, you're going to go over to this weapons locker right here, open it up, and grab the die remote. Then, make your way over to the living room in the original knocked map. You're going to see this crack in the wall right here, and that's where the die furnace is. I believe it takes about 30 zombies to get this part done, so just start training zombies until you have about 30 gathered up. Once you have all your zombies trained, run over to the crack in the wall and activate the die furnace. It's going to start sucking all the zombies in, except some get by because it's just a little buggy, the hitbox is kind of weird. But once you get 30 in there, it should say complete and you should be able to blast the door open and retrieve the wonder weapon from inside. However, don't be surprised if you open the door and there's no wonder weapon there. Like I said, the game is pretty buggy, there's been a lot of easter egg runs where I've opened stuff up and there was just no part inside. A lot of stuff they need to fix, but hopefully it works for you. Fire when ready. There's no die weapon here. <laughs> Dead oh ass. my god. Yeah. X fill again then? <laughs> this game is oh, such. We just, we just missed the window too. This game's just pain. Pain. It's literally just pain. Right after you get the wonder weapon, make your way up the stairs and turn right. You should see a canister highlighted in yellow. You want to use the alternate right click attack on the die blaster and it should suck the canister in towards you. You should also see a crate sitting on the side of the roof. Shoot this with the main attack of the die blaster and it should knock off the roof. Then run around to where the crate fell and you should see a vial. You want to pick up this vial and go under the fungal spore at the tree right next to it. You'll place this underneath and the spore will start dripping into the vial. It takes about 30 seconds for the vial to be completely filled so feel free to go around and do something else at this time. Now you're going to go find the aether portal again and enter it. Now you're looking for Aether Scope parts scattered around the map. There's three locations that they can spawn at and they only spawn once at a time. I'll show you on the screen here where all the locations are. The first one here is in the Particle Accelerator room right next to the Aether Tunnel on the stairs. The next Aether Scope part is going to be at the crash site on top of one of the turbines on the plane. The last Aether Scope part is going to be right outside in the yard underneath the stairs. Like I said, these can all spawn in different orders so make sure you're checking all three spots at the same time. Be careful when picking up these parts because a ton of playgrounds will spawn. However, you want to save the last Plague Hound and bait him into the weapons lab. Now that we've got our canister, you can place it in this little slot right here. Once the Plague Hound is next to it, kill it, and the gases that it drops will get sucked into the canister. Once the canister is full, then pick it up. Now we're going to go back into the Particle Accelerator room and build the Aether Scope right under where the pack punch is. This will open another Aether Portal. This portal opens in the Medical Lab. You're going to want to go into the Observation part of the lab and find the computer there and try to enter the password. Note that there's a diary right next to the computer. 
Enter the Aether Portal, and once you're on the other dimension, you're going to want to go in there and pick up that diary. Now, the Aether Scope will allow us to do our special interactions. One ghost appears right below you, so just jump down right next to Speed Cola and activate the ghost. Once he appears, you're going to want to put the diary in his hand. You can stay and listen to the dialogue, or you can just immediately go to the other spectral locations. The other one is going to be in the trial room, right next to Med Lab. Just follow me right here and interact with the ghost, and then once again, put the diary in his hand. The final spectral ghost is going to be in the particle accelerator room, right next to where you build the Aether Scope. Interact with him, and once again, put the diary in his hand. Once his dialogue finishes, you'll be teleported back to the regular dimension. Once we're back to our dimension, you can revisit the computer in the medical lab again, and insert the password. This time, it'll be correct. To move on to the next step of the easter egg, we have to unlock all four upgrades for the wonder weapon. For extra efficiency, we've already been doing a lot of these steps along the way. Go back to the pond and retrieve the vial that was underneath the fungal spore. We can also run up to the crash site and see this little crate covered in vines. Since we filled the gas canister, we can put it on top and then shoot it with a regular weapon. This will open the first upgrade for the wonder weapon, the Nova 5 upgrade. Once you insert the upgrade into your wonder weapon, you want to make your way back to the medical lab. Find the cylinder on the containment device that corresponds with your element and you're going to want to shoot it with a wonder weapon. You'll know if you did it correctly because a cylinder will rise. We're going to do this with every upgrade as soon as we unlock them. Since we're already in the lab, go over to the doorway that leads to the particle accelerator. You should see a crate covered in chains. Now that we have the vial from the fungal spore, we can interact with this crate and the chains will be frozen off. Once your character inserts a freeze upgrade, once again shoot the cylinder on the containment device. At this point, there should be an aether portal located in the pond area. Enter it and make your way into the weapons lab. Go downstairs where Deadshot Daiquiri is located, and you should see some sort of cutting device on the wall. Go over and insert the fuse that we grabbed in the beginning. This will unlock the crate located on the back of the truck in the pond. This crate contains a fire upgrade, which I should note is great for killing the megatons. Go back down towards the weapon lab and shoot the cylinder on the containment device. This only leaves one upgrade for the wonder weapon, the electrical upgrade. There should be another aether portal in the particle accelerator down below. Enter the portal, and to get the next upgrade for the Wonder Weapon, you're going to have to suck the essence out of three crystals located around the map. You can use the Aether Tunnels for faster transport to try to get them in one go. One crystal is located on the penthouse on top of Noct. Another crystal is right outside the cave near the crash site. The final crystal is going to be located in the pond to the right where the mystery box should be. For this step, you have to suck the essence out of the crystal and then make your way back to the crate down below in the particle accelerator. Run over to the crate when your wonder weapon is infused with the essence and shoot each vial on there. You're going to have to do each crystal one by one, which is why this takes so long. If you don't get them all in one go, that's fine. The Aether Portal will reappear and you'll have another chance to do it again. Once you infuse all three vials on the crate, you should be able to open it and get the electric upgrade for the wonder weapon. This is by far the best upgrade, so I definitely recommend using it. Go into the medical lab and shoot the final cylinder on the containment unit. Now that all cylinders have been shot with the corresponding upgrade from the wonder weapon, a portal should appear. Enter this portal and go in the medical lab above the speed cola machine. You should see another spectral anomaly. Interact with it, and this time it'll be two soldiers. Once again, you don't need to be present for the dialogue, so you can walk away at this point. When their dialogue ends, you'll be teleported back to the regular dimension, and they will drop a wrench where they were standing. Pick up this wrench, and then go to the yard where the tank is. When the prompt appears, bang on the side of the tank. After three times, a zombie will appear. You can either shoot him, or he'll go back inside of the tank. Next, either cook a frag grenade or throw a Semtex at the hatch of the tank. After it explodes, the tank should fire, dropping something from the tree outside of Stamina. Go to the crash site outside of Stamina and you'll see the decontamination agent on the ground. Carry the decontamination agent all the way into the medical lab where the two soldiers were standing and insert it in the little containment device that they were standing next to. The next step is to split a Megaton into the blaster and boomer form. You're going to want to bait the blaster and boomer in this circle underneath the containment device so that they get sucked up inside of it. Once you successfully have the boomer and the blaster inside of there, all players in your game need to go near the computer in the medical lab. Once everyone is in this observatory room, one player can activate the computer and it'll go to a cutscene. Once the cutscene ends, a ton of zombies spawn, so make sure you split up. At this point, we're very close to the boss fight, so make sure you get as many upgrades as you can afford. The boss fight is not that difficult, and you could probably do it solely with the wonder weapon. The last Aether portal should appear in the living room of Noct. Enter the portal, and then go to the corner near the table in the box room. There will be another spectral anomaly, interact with it, and this time it'll be a scientist looking at a picture of his family. When his dialogue ends, you'll be slung back to the real dimension, and he'll drop a family photo behind. Interacting with his family photo will teleport you into the boss fight. I believe if you leave the photo on the ground for too long, it may despawn, it might have just bugged out for us, I don't know, but that's happened to me before. So make sure when he drops the photo that you're ready to enter the boss fight. Like I said, the boss fight is easy enough. Orlov tries to shut down the particle accelerator, and all you have to do is defend him. The only overwhelming part is a lot of megatons will spawn, so make sure you're using the wonder weapon to clear them out quickly. Once the fight is over, you have to exfil in the pond area.
go to the barrier to medical lab and get ready to run. As soon as the barrier opens, zombies will flood the map and there will be lightning coming down from the sky. Do not run through the lightning as it will drain your health very quickly. You have to simultaneously shoot the zombies and make your way to the pond where you can exfil. Only one player is required to get to the helicopter to exfil. Once you get to the helicopter, hold left to interact and start flying away. Now, the only step left is to hope that there's not a fatal script error that crashes your game. <laughs> GG's. What? She broke my heart. Did I know I just get a server script error? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, just... <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Did it kick you out? Yeah, I just got a server script error and booted me to the main menu. Hope you guys enjoyed the guide. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you got any more suggestions of videos you want to see, just let me know.